Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia and I'm so delighted that you decided to tune in today. And I hope that all of you had a wonderful Christmas holiday season. I know that it was different this year, but our family, we had a wonderful small Christmas. And I really love the fact that my husband took over um, majority of the cooking for our Christmas dinner. And if you have not seen that video, I think it's entitled Christmas Eve Preparation Cook With Me. Go over and check out that video. You're going to have a great time watching because my husband is preparing some food items for our Christmas dinner. And the first item he's doing is he's showing you how to make some delicious collard greens. And if you don't know how to make them, if you watch that video, you will you will know by the time you finish watching that video. And I had a really good time spending that time with him in the kitchen. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing my first um, shopping haul for 2021, which is going to contain Valentine decor. And believe it or not, that holiday season is right around the corner. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started with that process even the more um, this year. And so I have not taken down any of my Christmas decorating my any of my Christmas decor, but I have plans of starting that process very soon. And so later on this week, you will see a video that will be entitled probably Christmas Takedown or Christmas Undecorate With Me. And I'm just going to show you how I begin the process of setting things up and getting it ready to take down my Christmas decor. But as for me, in my house, we are going to continue to turn our Christmas lights on and until I take everything down because it took a lot of time and effort to put it up. And so I'm going to take my time. I'm going to go from room to room and I'm basically going to be taking down my Christmas decor just like I put it up. Um, when I started decorating my home, for Christmas 2020, I started upstairs and then I worked my way to the downstairs area. So that's generally how I'm going to take down my Christmas decoration as well. So I hope that when I upload that video, um, it will motivate you and help you to sort through your Christmas decor and how you um, put it away for the next season. So let's get on with this shopping haul, shall we? So I have quite a few items that I gathered from my local Dollar Tree. I actually went to two of my Dollar Trees that are located in my city. And I also have one clearance item that I'm going to share with you as well. And I've never been to the Dollar Tree after Christmas and I've never purchase any items because you know that they're going to be 50 cents a piece, but I'm, I don't recall ever going. So I'm going to share those items with you as well. So first up, I'm going to start with the signs that I found at my local Dollar Tree. Now this sign here, I have never recalled seeing this sign at my local Dollar Tree. I thought it was very beautiful. Um, I like that it has, it's framed out, so it looks like it's in a picture frame. I like the color as well, and I like what it says. It's this family is the heart of our home, and I love that beautiful, um, how do you call it? The um, chambray effect, I forget what you call that, ombre effect, that's what I meant to say. The ombre effect of the heart and it's a nice size heart and it is a nice size sign as well and i really like that so i purchased that and i also purchased a second sign similar pattern trimmed off in this um mdf frame type wood and it says love makes a house 
a home. I really love that statement and I totally agree. Love makes a house a home. So that's why I was attracted to it. I like the shape of the heart. I like the framing. So I could not leave the store without purchasing both of these signs. I thought they were beautiful. Now this sign right here that I'm going to show you, this is a returning sign. Um, this one is saying love is all you need and it has the beautiful red truck with love inscribed on the side of that truck as well. And for some reason, my Dollar Trees that I went to, this was sold out and I could never get this particular sign. So I was happy that the Dollar Tree actually bought this particular sign back this year. Um, the one that I purchased last year had the bicycle on it. So I definitely purchased that. So that was um, one of the several of the signs that I purchased. I also, let me reach over and get this. I like this hanging sign here. I thought these, I was attracted to the design of the heart. Let me see, can I get it untangled? I got them all here. And I like this one. This one is made out of fabric. And it just says, hug, kiss, and love. And what attracted me to this was the pattern of the heart. Look how pretty that is. It's that red and white checkered print. And it looks like the heart on the top has the white background with the red. And this one right here has the red background with the white pattern on the top. And I just really like this fabric. It's really lightweight, and I just had to get this particular sign. I like the buttons on it as well, and on the back is just some red felt. Just a simple made sign that can make a big impact in your decorating. Okay, so let me see what else do I have. I also purchased these hearts. They come in a trio. And the reason why I purchased these red hearts, because I'm thinking about um, decorating a Christmas tree and giving it a Valentine's theme. And I was thinking that what I could do is actually cut these apart and add them to the Christmas tree. Um, and that would give me my Valentine's tree. And I thought these were pretty. And to get three for a dollar score, and the next item that I purchased, I just want to share these shopping bags. I thought that these were absolutely beautiful. Dollar Tree has a lot of beautiful shopping bags this year, and I only picked up two, but I really like this one because I'm thinking that I can do a, a DIY project with this, and it's the same pattern on the back, so you get two for the price of one. And that's why I purchased this, and I love all the beautiful hearts on this. They had several bags, but I couldn't buy all those bags. And I like this one, too, in particular here. I like that it is very simple. It has a pink and white striped background with this beautiful, um, simple gold valentine in the center. I thought that was very beautiful. And I purchased that because I'm thinking of doing a DIY project for this and it came in two there was two so I'm going to show you this one as well and this one says be my valentine on the back and this one has diagonal stripes on it so you get two of these for the price of one and I thought this was absolutely gorgeous okay and then let's see what else did I purchase I did purchase some napkins and these here I thought was very cute. It just says XOXO, and it's a heart with a clothespin. Looks like it's hanging from a clothesline or yarn or something. And then it has the ship lap. You might can't see it. I'm going to try to put it up there. It has a ship lap, ship lap pattern, which attracted to me that as well. And I also purchased this set of napkins as well. It's just a cluster of hearts which I thought was absolutely beautiful as well. And you get 18 pieces for $1. So we can always use napkins around here. Now, the next items that I purchased was some more ribbon. 
And I really like this ribbon. It's the red and white buffalo check. You can use this throughout the seasons from Christmas to Easter to Valentine's to whenever. It never goes out of style. So I purchased three of those. And I also purchased some of these felt hearts here. They come 12 pieces in a pack, as you can see. And I purchased the white ones and I purchased some red ones as well. And the reason why I purchased these was I was thinking about decorating my tree or using it in some format. I might use them in a DIY project, not quite sure, but I thought that was a great price. I also purchased some of this deco mesh here, which is only five yards. And this was the white and it has red lines running through there as well. And I also purchased this. I've never purchased this type of deco mesh before. Um, this one is even smaller. It's only three yards here. And I just really like this. I hope that you can see this here. As you can see, it looks like it's frosted. It's a beautiful shade of pink. And it has these little white, um, looks like little white crumbles on it, little white frosting on those. And I'm going to try using this this year in my Valentine's tree. And I only just purchased it in the pink. They had this in a darker shade of pink. And they also had this in the red pattern as well. And the ribbon, what I saw, they had some that had Valentine hearts on it and some other patterns, but I chose this because I can use this throughout multiple seasons. Now, let me see what else do I have to share. I also purchased some of these um, heart picks here. At my Dollar Trees that I went to, um, this is the only color that I saw. Um... Well, that's not true because actually they had a set that was pale pink and the hearts across the top here had some kind of writing on it. I think it had love. And so I just picked up the red ones. I might go back and get the pink ones, not quite sure, but I just picked up two packs and you get seven pieces in each one. And yet again, when I purchased this, I was thinking about um, decorating my tree with this. So I thought that was a great purchase as well. And I'm just looking around to see what else that I have down here that I haven't showed you guys. And I think that pretty much covers everything. And I also have some items that they're, they are not seasonal, or you may consider them maybe for the spring or the summer, and they're not really Valentine themed but I had never seen it in the Dollar Tree before, but maybe they had it and I didn't shop early enough. But this right here, I was impressed with this eucalyptus garland. Who would have knew that Dollar Tree actually sells eucalyptus garland? And this just happens to be, um, let me see. This is five feet long. And it is a beautiful color. There's some color variation with the leaves here that I really like. And unfortunately, I went to two of my local Dollar Trees and they only had one. I could not find another. So I do hope um, as the season continues pro to progress that they will have some more of this garland. I really like this. And also, this is totally... Um, not Valentine theme, but I thought this was so charming. I like these garden stakes. This is what these are. These are just some simple garden stakes. And I said, oh my goodness, I must have them. I like these. I could actually remove the stake from this particular um, water spout here. And I could put this in a tear tray. I could also take this off and just sit it on a vent in a vignette i could use it in a vignette or i could actually just leave the steak as is and just poke it or stick it inside my tree when i decorate it 
So I thought these were absolutely charming and for only a dollar you can't go wrong. These are some very nice size watering cans. I have purchased watering cans from Hobby Lobby before. They're a little bit taller but these are a little bit wide, wider and um, these are really really nice you guys. So if you want them Go get them now because I don't know how the products in Dollar Tree are going to run since we are considering what's going on in our world today and how people are really quickly, you know, snapping up items. Now, the very final item that I want to share with you is actually a Christmas item and it was on clearance. And of course, all of Dollar Tree items are a dollar. And so that made it 50 cent. And so these cedar picks... Now, I was in there specifically looking for some Valentine um, decor pieces, and I just happened to look on the aisle, and they had a clearance for 50% off, and they had the cedar picks as part of their clearance, and they were in gold, and they were in red, and as I only purchased the silver ones. So these are called cedar picks. And I purchased several packs of these because you can't go wrong. There's oh, there's five five picks in this for a dollar. So if they were regular price, I would have pay, been paying twenty cents for each one, but I paid fifty cents. So I'm actually paying ten cents for each of these cedar picks, and um, I really could have used them on my mantle because I ran out of silver floral picks. And I don't know, I had visited this store before, um, before Christmas had ended and they did not have any. So I don't know where these came from, but I snapped up these cause they were 50 cent and I definitely can use them because I have a glam office. I can use these all year round. So I can use these not only for the Christmas season, but I can use them all year round as well. So that is all the items that I gathered from my local Dollar Tree. I hope that you saw something in my shopping haul um, that you can use and that you like. I encourage you to go ahead now to your local Dollar, Dollar Tree stores and check out the inventory. Um, most of the Dollar Trees that I went to, which was two on this particular day, they were still putting out their Valentine decor. There were a lot of empty shelves because they are still transitioning from Christmas and adding in Valentine's Day. So I'm pretty sure when I go back and revisit these stores, they're going to have more Valentine um, items because I know that they have more Valentine stuff because I have seen it, but it's just not have not arrived in my store yet. So I will be on the lookout and I probably will come back and do another um, Dollar Tree shopping haul, or I might add it into another store shopping haul that I'll be doing. And so I like all the things that I purchased, can't wait to use them. And I hope that they will get you stirred up for the upcoming um, Valentine's Day 2021. So until the next video, I enjoyed spending this time with you all. If you are new here, please kindly consider subscribing to my channel so you can follow me in 2021 on my decorating um, adventures and so forth. And until the next video, happy decorating. Bye-bye.